everyone! Welcome back to another video, and today we are doing a mod review, and look, look at what's here. Giganotosaurus is finally out. This is Divine Beast Giganotosaurus. We've been waiting so long for this, so we've got a whole lot of stuff to cover, so let's get straight into this. So, uh, first of all, welcome. Uh, we're going to start off with subspecies. So, we have Carolini, which is the original one, which is 10% more bleed. Then we've got Salgado which does 5% more armor. Then we've got Chub Chubuentis, or whatever that is, and that does 3% more attack. Then we've got Rose, which is 5% more stamina. Pachytholus, which does 3% more speed. Retro, now some of you uh, older people might know what this is. <clears throat> Let me just uh, put this skin on. It might remind you of something. It's a certain Giga, but that does 3% speed. Begista, or Bestia, um, this is Walking with Dinosaurs, Giga Sub, no, sorry, this is uh, Jurassic World. Damn it, I ruined this one, that's Walking with Dinosaurs, but this one's Jurassic World, look at it. And then we're back to the default one, so, oh boy, we have got a lot to show you today, ladies and gentlemen. So, first of all, uh, this thing is the first dinosaur to have unique baby animations. So, look at it, this is its baby walk, it looks adorable. Is its baby trot and its baby sprint. Look at it, these are amazing. So, the way this works is as you grow it, over like a three minute period or something, when you reach certain growth stage, uh, you'll get your adult animations in. But look at this thing, it looks so good. Anyway, now that we've seen the baby animations, let me grow myself and I will show you all of this thing's abilities and sounds because oh my god, it looks amazing. Okay, so we are finally adult, and oh my god, look at this thing. Anyway, let's have a look at its set animation. Its sleep animation. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. And let's have a look at all of its abilities and skins. So, first of all, skins. We've got Default, then we've got Desert Pug. Look at that thing. Spotted Marine, Cranium, Lionfish, Vista, Ogwalker. Uh, Cinnamonian, Dragoon, Chukon, Mapu, Crown, Desert Beast, Jester. <laughs> Wanna know how I got these scars? <laughs> Sandstone, Terracotta, Toyoto, Zeb. Look at that thing, that looks beaten up. Albino, Melanistic, Leopard, or Leopard, which you might remember this from a certain place, and Masked. Man, these skins look brilliant. Anyway, let's have a look at some of its abilities. So we've got Regular Bite, which causes medium damage. Charge Bleed Bite, charge up the attack to infl inflict bleed based on how long it's held. Let's, in let's equip both of these. <clears throat> then we've got Flesh Graze. This is, this is again, a never seen before ability. Tear a chunk of flesh off a victim, draining 20% stamina from the target and large, large sauropods get a massive debuff to their bleed heal rate, but Tyrannosaurs, Amphibious, so like semi-aquatics, Hadrosaurs and Ampelosaurs uh, have half the effect. So basically, large sauropods get a massive debuff from the, well, they get a massive bleed heal rate debuff, and then half of that is what the rest of those get. And then sang Sanguine Snap. Giga uses its quick jaws to deliver a snap that increases bleed and damage every hit. So it's like Raptor Strikes, but bleed and damage. Oh man, it's beautiful. Senses. Southern Tyrant. Grants 15 armor in exchange for minus 10% speed. Only triggers when in combat. So when you're out of combat, you're fine. In combat, you are tanky, but a little bit slower. Lone Hunter. Gain 10% increased attack damage when not on a group. That's normal. Claw attack, we've got a claw. Let's equip that. Uh, metabolism, we've got scavenger, can eat meat, carry on and bones, fast food and water drain, hypercarnivore, only able to eat meat, food drains much slower, and gourmand, can eat meat, fish, carry on and bones, increase hunger capacity, high food drain, low thirst drain. So this is like if you're in a de this is like if you're in a high population area but there's no water. Um, so yeah, that Man, it's amazing. I love this thing so much already. Then we've got lightweight scales, increased speed by 5%, decreased speed turning by 15 resilient, you know this, slick scales, as normal. Uh, let me just equip one of these. Hides, we got, uh, sorry, legs, we got accelerator, a cheap ability that increases trot speed by 15% when out of combat, that's amazing. 
left stomp and right stomp. A heavy stomp with the right foot or left foot must be standing still to use. So let's just equip that real quick. <coughs> Back limb, enrage charge, charge forward in a line causing damage to anything you hit. Oh man. And stout, take 30% less knockback and 25% increased bone break healing, so that's pretty good. Let's equip the charge. Tail attacks, we've got one tail there, an attack that causes light damage, and balance, gain 5% turn radius. Let me just equip this one. And this thing does actually have a voice buff. We got Raging Bellow. Increase attack damage by 15% and increases knockback and increases 45% knockback resistance. Now that is just... wow. Okay, so we are back. I just thought that I'd move to a better location after equipping all my abilities. So, uh, first of all, let's have a look at the adult animations. So this is the adult walk. Uh, right here, this is the adult walk. Now, you might think it looks goofy because it waddles a bit, um, but actually DB contacted real paleontologists and said that this is how Giga walking this slowly possibly would have moved because of its, like, huge center of mass being pushed into such a small area it probably would have to it probably would have had to waddle a little bit <laughs> anyway and here's its trot looks really nice and here is its sprint man that looks so good anyway let's have a look at some of its attacks well all of its attacks so first of all we have the standard bite oh my god that crunch that is amazing here's its charge bite that is so smooth and it sounds so good. I love it. I love it. Oh man. And you can hold it for so long. Look at how long you can hold that. That is amazing. Crunch. That is brilliant. And before we have a look at any of the other abilities, let's have a look at Flesh Graze and Sigreen Snare. So, Flesh Graze, I believe you need another dino to actually, like, rip flesh off, so we won't see that, but we can at least see the animation and hear the sounds. So, here's Flesh Graze. Oh my god, that sounded so good! And as you can see by what my head did, I, did, I clearly did a sharp snap with my jaws. And here's the green snap. I think I'm saying that wrong. Oh my god, look at how spammable that is. That is amazing. Anyway, here's the claw attack. Wow, <laughs> it just leans forward with its whole body. That looks brilliant. Here's its stomp. This will be the same for both of the stomps because, you know, it's just a stomp. Oh my god, this thing makes sounds that are so good. They're perfect. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, let's have a look at its charge. I want a nice clear area where I can really run. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, that wasn't enough, but it, oh man, it just leant down and fully went for it. It booked it. That was amazing. Anyway, here's the tail attack. Just a nice little tail attack. And finally, it's buff roar. Oh my god, that is so... That's just amazing. It's so loud and it looks so good. And as you can see, that lasts for 30 seconds. Wow, that is just... This thing is peak. This might be the best mod we're ever going to get. Anyway, let's have a look at its voice calls. So, we've got its roar, its regular one. Oh my god, that was amazing. And the little chattering at the end, that's brilliant. Here's its friendly. Oh, that one's nice. Here's its threaten. Ow, my ears. That... That is, that sounds so deadly. Here's its distress call. Oh, the poor thing. That sounds like it's really scared. And here's its regular call, which you'd hear if you typed in chat. <laughs> I like that. Here's its shake. It's just a normal shake. And what's this one? Oh, it looks like it's a stretch. Okay, it stretches. Does it do it again? Oh, it does. It stretches with both legs. That looks really good. I love it. Here is its... Uh, I don't know what this is, but here it is. Oh. Oh, man. That is... That's a little scary, I won't lie. <laughs> Here's its shake. I think this is its shake. No, it isn't. What is this? 
Oh my god, my ears. That that is that sounds so good. I'm lost for words. I think this is a look. We already did the shake. I don't know why I thought that was shake. Here's its look around. So as you can tell, this thing's stiffer than most DB mods, like Karch for example, or Anectance. Now this is because this thing is such a robust dinosaur, like it's built similar to a Rex with how muscular and big it is. Um, so it probably was more stiff compared to something like Karch, but man, look at this thing. Anyway, so I just want to quickly go over all of uh, its eating and drink animation, and then... Man, wow, what a monster this thing is. So here is its drink animation. Leans down and takes a nice slow drink. Man, oh, I love this thing. Just takes a nice drink like that. That is brilliant. And here is its eating animation. Oh my god, look at it rip into that corpse, pull back with its whole body, and the blood mouth accompanied with most most DB mod carnivores. That is amazing. That looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god. I I don't know how I don't know what else to say about this thing. But anyway <laughs> This thing is terrifying. Anyway, so, if you have enjoyed this uh, mod review, and if you're excited to see me play as Giga, which I will definitely be doing tomorrow in a full video, then please make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you feel like it. Uh, this has been an amazing mod review. Oh my god, look at this thing. Anyway, so, all of you take care, Have a just, just have a good day or a night, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.